Okay, so it's been at least a year or so since I did a video, but let's just say circumstance of life. COVID hit, and then uh, not too much of a good relationship, so now it's going to a, a split up. So I got rid of one of my 55 gallon. I drained out the 50 gallon. I got rid of the 75 gallon, so I'm left with this 55. The 10 gallon down there, and or 15 and 10 gallon. So. A couple weeks ago, I lost all my electric blue and my Kenyai, and I lost most of my OB Peacock, which I have three of them left, which is this one and this one, plus a baby that I had from one of them. And then I have a total of five dragon blood left, which there is the male right there. And then there's the female, and this female right here, well, that just went behind the ship, is actually holding eggs. I have three Pleco. One of them is a Bretzel Nose, which is hiding somewhere. And in here, there's um, two Snowball Pleco hiding. Well, there's the Pleco, the Bretzel Nose. I have this one for a couple of years, and don't mind the cloudiness. I got a wave maker this week. I changed filtration to a sponge like this one, which is a huge one. It's technically... Well, let's see. It's one of those top fin two-stage 75 gallon, even though I'm running a 55 gallon. I, I was uh, more inclined to buying the 75 gallon versus the 40 gallon. And then... I used to have some catfish that were, I forgot the name of it, but they were pre ticola or something like that. They're white with the black dots, which uh, they died also. I had a bad luck, so yeah. This here, it's this sponge filter, which I got to set up my little quarantine tank. I'll be getting another one for this one because I don't like the one that suction cups to the glass. But I have three feather fin well three african feather fin catfish they're just gonna in here for quarantine slash growing out until i can put them in here with those big guys and i used to have a diy filter that would go all the way to here from here and it was like a two-stage water it would go in in one side down and then back to the pump on the other side you can actually see some silicone right above there that I missed when I took it off and I know I'm missing sand and the pet store didn't have any more and I used what I had left over over here for sand as a substrate because I took it out of the 50 gallon since I shut it down now from what I see with my wave maker the way it is on my only dead spot for garbage that I'm gonna have to siphon is right here which is not too bad but other than that Oh, there's the baby OB, right here. But other than that, most of the fish are doing pretty good, and I can't wait till those guys grow. Sorry for the light, it's not that good. Give me a sec, I'll grab it. See, there's the feather fin. There's three of them. So, let's see how well they do. Hopefully they do well and they grow so I can put them in here. And I'm thinking of maybe sometime this summer to buy more OB Peacock to put in there. Because I have to drive a good amount of time, like 4 hour drive to somewhere out of town. Because he's the only one with black and red OB Peacock in my area. So, don't mind the cloudiness, that's because I ripped the whole filter out, I did a quick cleaning. Well, quick cleaning, I removed everything out of the tank, I cleaned everything, and now the only thing I have left to do is clean whatever sands on top of this, which is going to be with my water change next week while the kids are on March break. 
and I should be getting two more sponges during the kids March break so hopefully you guys are enjoying it but with the quality of my video well sorry about that I'm using cell phone because I don't have an actual video camera to record so that's what it is so far for now oh forgot to mention I did get those glass top a while back well, a couple of months ago those are your glass top if I remember correctly for a 20 gallon two of them because the one from top fin or whatever brand it is at PetSmart they don't fit the gap over from left to right properly you have to get the one that is not for a 55 gallon but the one that's designed for a 20 gallon tank instead so it would fit properly the only thing is that I was not able to put is this plastic piece for the side over here that's the only plastic piece I was not able to put but other than that they fit nicely this is just because I think uh, my top has a little st stiffness to it but if I look at this one it's nicely and yes I'm still using that same eater that I used before the only difference is, is that wave maker I got on Amazon which is this one here supposed to be good enough for my tank so I just wish that there was something to prevent in case of power outage my Pleco from going in there and uh, getting ripped to shred by the propeller, but eh, it is what it is. Considering I have snowballed Pleco, let's see if I can get them out. Oh, lights in the way. Give me a sec, because I'm using a outdoor lights. Oof. See all the extra sand and some snails in there, which I don't care about the snail. The way I see it, they move my substrate around, which is what I want, so the substrate does not get all uh, stuck. And now, because I moved the decoration, it's going to be really dirty water. Pleco are not in this one, so that means they're in the other one. So, yes, I use check valve for all my air pumps for my. Because last thing I need to do, well, last thing I need it's when I'm not home, to get a surprise saying that uh oh, water's leaking. Uh, there you go. There is one of my snowball pleco just hit away. So, I'm not going to provoke it too much. I move enough stuff around and sorry about the clacking, but yeah, so that's what it is and now I'm going to have yucky water for a bit while it's all settled down again and hopefully it moves all the way down to here. If not, it's going to probably settle somewhere down here in the corner right here close to the pleco but that's what it is so far so I am just disappointed that I lost so many fish a couple weeks ago since I was like I said going through a separation and dealing with some stuff that I'm not at the house for a couple days at a time I'll be getting an automatic feeder so I lose less fish Considering I only have eight African cichlid left and three pleco and three catfish down there that I just got today. So yeah, catch up on the next one.